Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, from time to time I do product reviews and uh, this is going to be on the Laralov Spice and Nut Grinder. Uh, I've been looking for something like this uh, for a while and um, I reached out to this company here and decided to go ahead and go with this. I checked out a lot of reviews online and um, this seemed like uh, one of the nicer ones that was out there and uh, fairly economical. Laralov has been around for a while. They do a lot of other products, so check them out. That's L-A-R-A-L-O-V. So let's get into this. So here it is here. It's in like a uh, black configuration in this model. Let me show you around the box here. Shows you how you start out with coffee beans and the different grinds. As long as you just keep pulsing it, I believe it'll just keep on going down finer and finer until you get to what you want the grind to be. Pretty simple, 120 volt, 60 hertz, 80 grams. Power is 350 watts, that's pretty good for a unit of this size. The net weight is 2.75 pounds. Rough weight is three pounds. It is made in China, it's BPA free, which is nice. You don't see that in a lot of these uh, type of products. But to have a BPA free uh, plastic cup like that or plastic parts, it's nice to have. Transparent anti-splash cover, stainless steel blades, stainless steel 2.8 ounce capacity bowl, heavy duty motor housing, and a rotary switch, which will probably be able to um, adjust your speed on the motor itself. And it says rotate the switch to choose the mode. One for slow speeds, two for fast speeds, P for precise manual grinding. And we're back to the front. So I'll pop the top here real quick. Got a styrofoam mold in the top here for shipping to keep it safe. I won't bore you with the unboxing. We'll come back to that. So we'll go ahead and take this plastic off. That's real quick. Looks like it has a really nice, generous size cord here. I'd say it's probably at least three feet long. That's nice for an appliance. Sometimes you come up with shorter ones. Spin it around so you can get a better look at it. Oh, and it's got these little suction cups on the bottom here to keep it uh, secure to your work surface. Put that down. And that'll lock it in. That's nice. And they come off with uh, not a lot of trouble. There's where the motor is located there. Has little vent holes here for the heat from the motor to escape. And there's our settings that we talked about earlier. The P, the 0, 1, 2. Here's the cup. So you just twist that and it pops right off. It's got a little notch right there. And it says unlock lock. Pretty simple. Seems like it's a pretty durable kind of polycarbonate cup there. There's the stainless steel blade down there. This has a little seal here. Pull the whole thing out. There's the impeller down there that'll uh, connect to the motor. So it's got a seal right here. You just pop that off and you can see the stainless steel blades in there as well as the stainless steel cup. Here's the gradient measurements right here. Goes all the way up to XAM. And it's nice to have that included seal like that. So that it seals right down there nice tight. And you can tell that it won't go the other way. So it only goes one direction, which is also nice. And then your cup goes down over top of that. Also comes with this uh, measuring spoon here. A little brush on the end of it. I imagine that's to clean out your grinds. Comes with this manual here, instruction and recipe booklet, warranty 24 months after sale of service, the important safeguards, coffee grinding operating instructions, and how to clean it out. Pretty self-explanatory. Tells you some grinding tips, just like we talked about. Probably the longer you put your grind on, the finer they will become. It's also great for uh, spices, nuts, not just coffee bean. It says dried chilies, mung bean, star anise, sesame, ginseng. Like I said, it'll work on basically anything that you need to grind down. And uh, also for my um, aquarium fish people, this would be perfect uh, if you want to grind down your larger foods for maybe your small fry and your small fish. Just pulse it and that would take some of those bigger granule fish foods that you have and that'll uh, grind it down to the size that you need. Just to throw that out there for my fish peeps. <laughs> so here we go. We uh, bought some uh, holiday blend coffee beans. The limited edition. <laughs> Herbal sweet with maple notes. Sounds good for the holidays, huh? So we'll give that a shot. So I noticed here that it does have a lock right here. So you put it down the cup and then you can turn it clockwise and it'll lock right in there. Now that would be clockwise. 
And to get it out, you turn it counterclockwise and it pops right out. Pretty nice. So like most of my videos, let me go ahead and uh, we'll get some measurements. So this unit right uh, from the, your counter surface there is going to measure about nine and a half inches. Width wise, about five inches. At the top, it's going to be about three and three quarter. Let me go ahead and clean it up. Make sure that there's no um, residue left over from manufacturing process like grease or uh, shavings. And uh, we'll come back and we'll give it a shot. Okay, so after uh, thoroughly cleaning it, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you how this goes back on again, just in case you missed it. You take the arrow and you line it up there where the arrow is and then turn it clockwise like I said before. Let's go ahead and open up our coffee here. Now I'm not a big coffee snob, um, so maybe some of you people uh, have some more tips and tricks on this kind of stuff. This is all new for me. Um, I'm mostly an instant cup kind of guy, meaning that the uh, coffee is already uh, ground up and we put it in our various coffee makers. And I have lots of reviews on coffee makers. If you didn't see them, check those links out up top there. I'll put some uh, cards up there if you want to check them out. So as you can see here, there's the coffee beans. Let me go ahead and just put a couple cups in there. I'm just curious to see what that's going to do and how much it makes. That way, if I mess it up, it's not uh, a total waste. So we put the cap back on and put the lid back in its spot there. And that just makes sure that uh, in case this really gets ground too fine, I guess, it'll keep it contained and it won't fly all over your kitchen. Okay, so we're all plugged in. I'm gonna go with this um, pulse feature here. I don't think I wanna grind uh, the heck out of it right now. I wanna get used to it before we really uh, start using it. I'm gonna go ahead and lock those suction cups down so that keeps it hopefully from walking. Okay, so one thing I do wanna tell you, there is a uh, lock um, icon right there. And if you don't do that on this cup here, also the machine has a safety, it will not go on. So you see how it says it's unlocking this way and then locking that way. Make sure you do that or the unit will not power. So let's go ahead and pulse it. Let me go ahead and stick the suction cups back down again and we'll pulse it. Let me get the camera a little closer here so you can see maybe down inside there a little better. Go ahead and pulse it. And I can see the beans getting smaller and smaller. Now, if you have a drip coffee maker, this is fine. You're probably going to just have a filter and uh, you won't have any issues. But if you have a percolator like I use um, from time to time, you're probably going to want a little uh, thicker grind, a coarser grind than a thinner grind. But this is uh, making easy work of this, just pulsing it. I'm sure if you left it on that one or two, it would probably tear it up pretty fast. Let me go ahead and pop this back off. Now remember, that's opposite than the other thing. Hear that seal? Now you have a little bit of grind there. And there you go. Can you see that? It's coming right out of there. Now, one other thing I did read, not dishwasher safe for this or the uh, plastic cup. Just wash them by hand. Don't submerge this in water. Lightly brush it out. They want you to use the brush. They really don't want water down in here, I guess, into the, uh, the blade system here. You can't change the blade out. It's formed into it. But I think overall, this is probably going to work out great for us, for all the uses we're going to have. So, hey, that's it. I don't have a lot of stuff to grind right now. Um, I'm sure peanuts would uh, be no problem or any other kind of nuts or seeds or whatever you're going to use because those things are, are pretty hard. Once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It's been running throughout the video. It's going to subscribe you to my channel. Channel. Hit the bell. The bell will notify you immediately when something comes up. You never know what I'm going to put up. I cover all kinds of things. If you haven't already um, subscribed to us, please subscribe. It really helps us. And also, when I get products, um, I usually put a link down there at the bottom of the description page on YouTube. It'll have various links to the products. Um, they may be uh, affiliated links with Amazon or eBay. And if you use them, I really appreciate it. That little bit of residual that uh, we do incur helps us to buy more products and uh, keep on reviewing other things for you. So everybody take it easy. I hope you're all healthy and happy and uh, looking forward to the uh, holidays coming up and give us a thumbs up, a like. It lets YouTube know that uh, you like our products and uh, they'll keep showcasing them on their website. Take care.